Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as you are well aware at St Paul's College, over a number of years we've been developing a series of rites of passage events to signify the important stages of our students' life and their relationships with the, those most important to them as they go from being young children into adults. The Mother-Son Evening is an example of this which we've been working on over the last few years. Another new initiative that's occurring during the course of this year is the next step along this journey whereby we will hold for the first time a number of events around the idea of graduating from Year 9 into Year 10 in the senior years of the school. One of these events is relating around a father-son experience or an adult male role model with our boys experience that we would hope to develop in the early part of Term 4. Uh, you may not know, but what has been a great passion of mine for the last 20 years of my life in schools that I have worked in has been to develop programs whereby young boys in particular work with their adult male role models to learn some of the gifts and necessities that are required in order for us to grow up to be good men. On this occasion we will be holding at school a number of different activities throughout the course of the afternoon and into the evening. During these activities there will be opportunities for the adult male and the boys to spend time together discussing what it is that really makes us the person that we are. The values that we need in order to grow up into being a good solid citizen but also a very, very good male. I'm sure we would all agree that society needs great men. Great men who know how to treat women, great men who know how to add value to society. Great men who know that life is not all about them, but it is also about giving to other people in order to make our whole world in which we live a better place. We believe the young men of St Paul's can grow into these fine adults, willing to accept the responsibility they need in order to continue to grow uh, the values of society in which we are all treated equally. Please, I would certainly encourage all of you to participate in this important event and wherever you may have some difficulties, please feel free to contact us and we'll do everything we can to assist you with that. Our Year 9 graduation process, Rite of Passage process, is a very important part of our journey throughout St Paul's College, especially in the middle years. The emphasis in the middle years Graduation is about reflecting on the learning experiences and also the, the growth of the students throughout their time. Um, and that culminates in an evening where students will present to a panel of home group teachers, LEAF teachers and a member of senior leadership. So they will talk about their journey, their strengths, um, areas that really challenged them, that they had to really show their resilience. Um, and look forward optimistically to the future in the senior years of the college. Our lives are marked by a series of important events. They signify the closing of one chapter and the beginning of another. Year 9 graduation is one such rite of passage that represents the next step in the journey of the St Paul student. As a year 12, I myself am nearing the end of my own St Paul's journey, but I can look back and see how far I've come from year 9. It fills me with excitement and joy to imagine where today's year 9s will be in three years' time. I am strong when I am on your shoulder.